After your pet spay or neuter surgery, it's important to know the following information about how to keep your pet comfortable and healthy during the recovery period. A long-lasting injection of pain medication is given at the time of surgery, and if needed, additional medicines are given prior to release. If your pet is experiencing discomfort over the next few days, please call the clinic at 312-644-8338 extension 350 or 351. No food is allowed until tomorrow morning. Provide only a small amount of water, a quarter to a half a cup, beginning at 9 p.m. tonight. Too much water may cause nausea or vomiting. Provide a normal serving of food and water tomorrow. Mild exercise such as walking is allowed, but do not allow the animal to jump or run as this may cause the incision to open. Do not allow the animal to chew or lick the incision. If you notice excessive licking, you may need to purchase a cone collar at your local pet supply store or veterinarian. Check the incision daily. Contact the clinic if you notice any discharge, swelling, or opening of the incision site. Do not bathe or apply any flea products for 10 days. Your pet did not receive any external sutures, so removal is not necessary. There are two layers of internal sutures which will dissolve, and a surgical glue has been applied on your pet's skin. If your pet is a female, a green tattoo has been placed next to the incision to make it easy to identify that your pet was spayed. Post-surgical care will be provided at no charge until the incision heals. Please call the clinic to schedule an appointment at 312-644-8338, extension 350 or 351. If your dog or cat received a first distemper combination vaccine today, it is the first in a series of at least two vaccinations to provide protection against common disease. In order for this vaccine to be effective, a booster needs to be scheduled in approximately three weeks. This must be done by your own veterinarian. If your pet received a rabies vaccination in the clinic today, he or she is protected for one year and will not need a booster until then. Current rabies vaccination is required by law. Please schedule an appointment for the booster with your own veterinarian.